most of these situations, the US wants to put quiet diplomatic pressure on governments rather than make it into a big public case. The strategic importance and relationships between the US and Serbia, and then we get into the situations of Kosovo, and then we get into the situations of the Balkans, are so complicated and important that it's my guess that what happens is the US Treasury that will be looking at sanctions violations will talk to the State Department that will use its diplomats to talk to the government of Serbia. And the same would happen in my expectation in the European Union. So do you see the possibility of some particular consequences towards Serbia, which still did not align with sanctioning policy uh, within the EU and the US, and as well as the sanction evasion companies? Do you see any particular specific consequences towards them? I think there are two kinds of consequences. First of all, if the diplomatic pressure is substantial, the Serbian government itself may take some action against that company. If only to show the US and the EU that it is trying to do the right thing. It doesn't really mean that it's going to stop this trade, but it may try, it may do something somewhat symbolic. The second issue, very important, and I hope to encourage you to continue your investigation, is to follow the money. How were the payments made? If the goods went to Russia, who is paying for them? And where is the money being deposited? And where is the money going? And if indeed the US can track that and discover that, they will bring a, uh, actions through the Justice Department perhaps against the banks or against the financial intermediaries. And if they did that, they would also involve the company itself in Serbia. But they would need to have um, some evidence that of the money trail um in order to sort of bring this kind of case 